Welcome to the team zone. Be inside. 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 Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TV Dome. Now, you may think that TV and Dome is a contradiction in and of itself. That is partially true, but we at the Salve Studio, we have the ambition to cross the boundary from the flat TV rectangular world into the magnificent 360 degree immersive wonderland that the domes, that the planetariums, that the full dome theaters offer. So, um, my name is Mickey Riemann, and I'm happy to introduce this program for the first time in history to all of you who are watching. Um, this program is brought to you by the uh, Fuldom Festival Foundation, which uh, some of you know is host to the Jena Fuldom Festival. And in this program, you see that you are immersed in images not usually seen on TV, but of course in this special program, they are the standard uh, visual background. And um, this is not a one-man show. We invite experts, enthusiasts, um, critical fanatics of the full room world into the studio. Some may appear in the flesh, others may appear through Skype. And if our Beam Me Up Scotty technology works correctly today, I'm very thrilled to introduce Dan Nephus. He is the man behind the Immersa Summit, the Immersa organization. Um, he took time out in the preparation for the summit. And I'll try the magic click and see if he appears on the dome as a Skype man. Yes, he is. I see Dan. Hello. Hello, Dan Nephus. Can you hear me? Well, hello, Mickey. Um, <laughs> Look around where usual. you are. Welcome. You, you may check around. This is not your general TV studio. W what do you think of this dome that you are s suddenly thrust into? There's no question this is a first time experience for me to be speaking in this virtual world, but I think it's wonderful. Thank you. You seem very well composed. That tells me you are quite versed in the world of virtuality, of uh, immersive media and so forth. Dan Nephus, please, why don't you start telling a little bit of how you came to be um, the head of Immersa? What, what, what excited you about the Fulton world so that you are now uh, organizing the uh, Immersa sum Summit? I could go on for hours on this topic, Mickey, you know that. But <laughs> yeah, take, the, first, take the essential few minutes in the beginning. Um, can, concisely on that, my enthusiasm for the full dome world is primarily about the connecting of audiences with the technology, which is what you and I are doing right now. In the Gates Planetarium Dome Theater or Digital Theater, it's very important in our programming that we're aware of what the audience is experiencing and that we journey with them to take them to places that are exciting and wonderful and have them leaving with a different perspective of perhaps space or earth or science or some important topic. So the intrigue for me is about the application of evolving technology to improve that process and as you know, things are changing very quickly and we're trying a lot of new technologies and ideas. But with this in mind, um, I got my start in Full Dome in about 2000 when we were designing our theater. Around about 2004, 2005, there were um, festivals and groups that were starting to evolve, the Dome Fest down in Albuquerque in particular. Yes. And I was struck at that event of the enthusiasm and camaraderie of the international community. I had never seen anything like that before. David Bining, our kind host at that Dome Fest at that time, put together a fantastic group of people and discussions. And through the course of several days, I came to realize that it was important for me to make an effort to continue to connect this community and to see if I can help Oh, I, I use the phrase um, leverage our assets. And that means that instead of everybody reinventing something from scratch to see if we can share the knowledge between each other and through professional development, communication, networking, events, 
give better experiences to our audiences. Great. So um, right now I'm your audience and uh, there's other audiences in the world, in the 360 degree world. Um, thanks for stressing the element of cooperation and uh, well, it's, it's like a bit of a brother and sisterhood of these people and uh, I, I think many people have noticed this very welcoming spirit that it's not about competition and who is uh, beating over whom, but it's about, well, listen and, sh and, and watch and see how energies can combine to make the 360 degree world even richer than it is. And there are riches to be had, obviously. Now, um, we are, as we talk, um, you are getting geared up for the Immersa Summit in Ohio this time. Can you tell a little bit of, okay, this was this, the, 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 the brief history of the Fulton World since 2009 with David Beining and, and, uh, and the Albuquerque Fest. What's the present moment? What's, the, what, what's happening right now at the Immersa Summit that's, uh, that brings everybody to Ohio. And let's hope that um, all of us make it to Ohio. We, we watch the weather closely. Okay. Um, very briefly, we've done this summit many times and have a tradition of bringing snow and weather with us. But um, with, with that in mind, the, the group do show up. So what we have in store is an event that the Immersa organization puts together annually. The organization has it was found in 2008, so we're actually celebrating our 10th birthday, if you will, and it's uh, quite an achievement oh. from our Co perspective. Congratulations to the 10th birthday. This is 10 candles in the dome. I hope exactly. you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll make them, yes. And it, it is unfortunate that you can't come join for some, some candles and cake and celebration, Mickey, but well, yeah, this but is celebration nevertheless. That's why we have this very intimate talk right here and now, undisturbed by the million of other celebrators at Ohio. You are right about that. And through this um, decade, we try to, to connect this audience. And, and it's interesting when I look at the attendance over the years that we have a, a different group <clears throat> each time. Um, there's been up to about 1,200 people, somewhere in that range, that have attended over the different years. So even though we do it annually, it doesn't mean everybody can join us each year. So it's a, a bit of an evolution there. The event in Columbus is our first time not hosting in Denver. Um, in Denver, it was great to host because it was home turf. I could take advantage, again, of the the assets in Denver for preparation and such. But by moving the event to another location, we've had to expand our capabilities and much improve, again, our communication and organization skills. Um, we have many, many hours of full dome that have been prepared. There's a different groups of people doing the slicing and preparation. We have just short of 30 different speakers, expect about 150 delegates and lots of fun planned this year. Great, so um, I hope the snow won't interfere with these magnificent plans. Um, now, it's always a challenge to say, well, we got pretty far from the early beginnings. I mean, f for the fact that Fulham is just this infant medium, it has developed quite significantly already. Um, but still, there is more room for more technological uh, improvements, for storytelling improvements, for aesthetic improvements. Um, as you gear up for the Immersa Summit, do you have some idea where you see the Fulham world moving towards or where, where are its greatest opportunities? Is it edu education? Is it entertainment? Is it um, whatever? I, um, I will put it into the whatever category. How's that for oh, good, an empty good, yeah. answer? It's, we, we are very strong in whatever. It's, it's become very clear to me that there isn't a, a single vision or a, a single direction where the, the full dome world is headed. Um, I have a presentation coming up we're calling uh, Innovation. And I took some time to gather short video um, segments from around the world of people, particularly in the portable dome world, doing things with immersive media and full dome 
at locations and in ways that we could only imagine 10 years ago. Um, everything from a horse race in um, Bahrain to the um, Seski Dome traveling in Canada and the US to a giant dome set up in Los Angeles for uh, DJs, and I can go on and on. And in looking at the type of content, much of it is far more on the entertaining side, and that's to be expected as an initial experiment. Looking forward a bit, we're going to see a lot more social content and important messaging coming out from what I believe are the, the proliferation of the portable domes. In short order, I think the number of both the small domes and the larger domes, we're talking um, up to 20 and 30 meter and, and you know many hundreds of people. I, I believe that the style of presentations, the content, perhaps the, the, the political message and scientific messages will begin to become more important than simply the, the, the entertainment component. But with that said, what was very clear in the, the videos I looked at, people were wildly enthusiastic about the experience. The idea of being places and in times and with a group of people that they couldn't do any other way. And that's the key that's common in our medium. But what's evolving is how people are adapting it, again, in ways we hadn't even thought of a few years ago. That's very good. Um, I think the whatever category is really showing strong in the future. And uh, to realize that uh, there's things that Full Room can do that no other medium can do. This should be uh, uh, recognized and, and, and fostered as in, in many ways. So actually, um, as we are here, uh, swimming in a, in, a, in a sea of visuals, talking as if you as if I was real who knows if I am um, get a sense of that you are a real person um, although you appear in a very kind of uh, psychedelic hello um, all this is part of the interaction that I believe is is coming uh, stronger and stronger and um, obviously the planetarium is kind of the cradle for all of this and it will continue to be kind of the grand opera but also the mobile domes, the festival domes, this will become more and more um, accessible to audiences, to producers, to artists, to uh, scientists. And I think um, we hope to be around long enough to see more Immersa summits, more Jena Fulham festivals, and um, more great TV and uh, dome shows in the 360 degree world. I hope you agree then. I certainly agree. You and I are both looking forward uh, uh, 10 or 20 years, perhaps, and can, can only vaguely imagine where we're headed with this. And, and certainly hope that the effort we put in the last decade or two um, has some value to move everything forward. I certainly must echo your comment a moment ago about the, the domes being a, a nurturing and um, uh, what do I say, a, a, a welcoming and, and growing environment. The opening of the doors of the larger institutions and the traditional planetarium, the opening the doors to artists and, and students and people to experiment and to try things and to learn um, is so critical to the future. It's one that I think you and I both find most exciting about what we do is the, um, uh, the, 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 the newcomers to the dome coming up with ideas and, and visualizations and again stories that are the, the crux of what I was talking about a moment ago of bringing a new message to the theater. And it's certainly worth pointing out that the, the, the good hard effort of my friends at Immersa and of course at the other festivals like a Fulham Festival Yena um, have been critical to that evolution. And I think we've impacted many hundreds if not thousands of people to get them excited about the possibility and again, to share the, the welcoming message that we're working hard to make the medium available to them. So that's a big thank you to you and your counterparts at, at Full Dome for all your hard work. And, and again, hoping it goes on for a decade or two ahead. Thank you. I couldn't agree more. And I think this is a nice uh, perspective out to the world of uh, attendance to the Immersa Summit. Uh, it's, it's so nice to meet these friends in different places in the world. And of course, Jena is a very welcoming city. 
uh, although in the background now we this is see the city of Dresden. But anyway, virtual places can be anywhere and uh, whatever, anywhere and whatever. It's omnipresent and it's very local at the same time. So, dear Dan, thank you for your uh, support, for your getting up early to talk to the people of the Fulham world. Much success for the Immersa Summit and hope to see you here, there and everywhere and in whatever land. Um, and right now I have the privilege of saying goodbye to you by making you disappear in the same magical way that you have appeared earlier. And bye Dan and off he Good goes time. into hyperspace. And here I am again alone um, in the dome but always connected to the rest of the world. Thank you, people, for listening. Uh, again, this show is brought to you with Salve TV, uh, and they produce this magnificent 360-degree adventure studio. Join the Immersa Summit. Join all the places where uh, good Fulham shows are being presented. And, of course, if you like, come to Jena, to the Fulham Festival. It's great. It's the 12th festival in Jena, and uh, the world in 360 degree is well and alive and um, now it's my privilege to disappear in the same way that I appeared earlier in the beginning of the show so I'll try to make myself invisible now and goodbye everybody. <laughs>